All right, welcome back. We continue live right here on Pittsburgh CW. Bob Pompiani and Gene Carr, you're with you at 412-575-2600. Joe Hunter tweets us up and says the Tampa Bay Rays are 19 games over 500, spending less than what the Pirates spend on payroll. The difference there, though, is, Joe, they have the second best rated farm system in all of baseball, and that's been consistent. I look back today because someone else asked me about this or brought up the question of Tampa Bay. Over the last seven years, they've been ranked I'm going to go back and put them in, I'm not sure of the order. Third, first, first, fifth, fourth, second. When you have a, a consistent farm system, that's the whole point. Every team needs that. If you're the Yankees, the Dodgers, the Cubs, the Red Sox, the Pirates, and the Rays, they have to have a farm system that works, Gene. If not, it doesn't matter what you do there. It starts with that for me. Spending is on top of that. Well, sure, but you're, yeah, you're always going to be able to you know, show these outlier examples and suggest that they, you know, uh, change the reality of the financial system of baseball. It's just not true. Uh, four of the top, four of the six division uh, leaders have payrolls in the top six of baseball, right. each of which is at least $168 million, which is almost three times what the Pirates spent. Right. Here's the thing about that. What that money allows you to do is every Spend year. Mistakes for one thing. Right. Every year you're going to have a far better chance than any of these teams, Tampa, Pittsburgh included. And Tampa may not even make it. Right. So before you say that, yeah, they're having a good year. They're comprised mostly of guys in their division, smart trades. They do a lot of good things mm -hmm. with a limited payroll. Minnesota does too. Exactly. But, th but, but you have to be on point there. And you also have to be willing to spend some on top of that if you need be. Like we talked about Anaheim tonight. You see all the payroll. They've sunk into players. It's been misspent, badly spent on Josh Hamilton's, on um, Otani. Got a lot of money, but, you know, he's been okay. Trout deserved a $400 million on Trout. Yeah, I bet they're, you know, they're behind the eight ball with uh, right. Luis Pujol, uh, Albert Pujols, too. Let's go out to line three. That's Kurt in Wegley. What's up, Kurt? How are you? Hey, how you doing, buddy? Good. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Sure. Hey, listen, um, uh, my condolences go out to the Steeler Nation, uh, right. uh, Coach Drake. How did he pass? If you have to heard anything about that? Nothing official yet. And one other thing, getting on the Pirates, uh, is the rumor mill was spreading, I'm hearing around, is it true that Hurdle might be uh, want to resign? Did you hear anything I, I about that? I never heard that, no. I mean, he... he I don't think he wants to do that. Uh, he signed four years just last year for that reason, Gene. Uh, I don't know. I suppose there's a possibility if they reach some kind of agreement with her or make it clear to him that he's going to be fired, they could couch it as something else. But, uh, you know, that's complete speculation. I haven't heard anything toward that end. But I do think it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the end of this season and what the Pirates say about this season. Right. Uh, Frank Coonley pretty much said no excuses for anything, right, in an article, I think, in the Post-Gazette. So we'll see. Uh, Gene, again, always a pleasure to be with you. Got anything coming up comedy-wise? No, I was just at Seven Springs uh, the past weekend. Oh, that's right. There. Was it good? Yeah, very good. Thanks good crowd? Yep. I, hope, I hope the sports call jokes worked. Oh, yeah. They love them up there. <laughs> All right. That's going to do it for our show tonight. Join us again tomorrow night for Gene Collier and Bob Pompey. We'll check you out on KDK-TV News at 11 o'clock. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow.